everyone, it's Kim here. Welcome to my channel, um, Never Too Late. I'm here today because I came home from work and found this sitting on my doorstep, so I got a delivery. Um, so I thought I'd just go through everything with you guys and see if there's anything in here that you also have been curious about. Um, today I did um, kind of set up in a different area because I would like to be able to try on clothes and kind of show you what they look like. And speaking of that, I did this in a previous Timu haul, if you can see. I got this dress. I, um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you. This, uh, this is a dress I got just a little over $10. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's so comfortable. I got so many, I wore it to work today, so many compliments. Um, also, the necklace I'm wearing is like a three-tier necklace, also from Timu. It was one of those really inexpensive, less than a couple of dollars. Um, I got a, a set of bracelets, which I got to tell you, I think this was too many at once, but also inexpensive set of bracelets. And then I got these little earrings too. They came in a set, I want to say like nine pairs um, of all different colors, but they're just little rosebuds and I think they're adorable and they, they go great with this dress. But anyway... Highly recommend this dress. It's not too short. I can bend over in it. Incredibly comfortable. It's got the cute little gathered sleeves. It's just really, really comfortable. So um, while I go through this stuff, when I get to something to try on, I'm just going to pause and go try it on and give you a, a look at that. One more thing. I did want to show you one more thing, and I kind of put these back around the corner. I wanted to show you these. I got these wedges um, a little while ago from Timo. They ended up being... I think they were $12.50 when I ordered them. And then just this morning, I got a uh, price adjustment. So I got like $1.50 back. So these shoes, just a little more than $10. I've worn them to work twice now. They are so comfortable. I mean, they're cute, but they're so comfortable. I can honestly wear them around all day and not even notice. So when I try, I've a, I have when I try something on, I'll put these on and I'll let you see them. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna go through the different bags and see. So the first thing here is a pair of pants. This pair of pants, I have bought a pair of these already in uh, like a navy blue color, and then I waited until they went down in price again, and then I actually got a price adjustment after. But these pants. I got um, from Timo and they have like a little the bottom they're gathered at the bottom and if you're short like me that's really helpful um, and they have a little button so they have a little detail they're kind of like a a dark orange color kind of a rust color um, the blue ones I loved them I think these are an extra large I believe and these were $6.87 when I bought them, but I want to say they went down to like $5. So I got the price adjustment on them. Um, when I originally put them in my cart, because the blue ones were so comfortable, I thought I, I just want to get maybe one or two other colors. Um, when I first put them in my cart, they were up to $10, something like that. And I was like, I know they go cheaper. So I just kind of waited it out. And then I, I, like I said, I got even more off. So let me try these on with those shoes. And I have a, a t-shirt that I also bought from Timu. So let me try this on and then we'll see. Okay, I'm back. Um, here's the pants. This is kind of interesting because ugh, I bought the same size. And the blue ones were baggier. Um, they were much more comfortable. These are a little bit tight. I don't think I would wear these out. They're a little bit too tight. So I'm gonna double check. I'm, I'm, I looked back at the size and I'm fairly certain I ordered the same size. So maybe, I don't know, they just run a, diff a little differently with the different colors. I have no idea, but um, I'm gonna see if they have a bigger size and I might order them in a bigger size for this color, but these are a little tight. Um, also, I did get this t-shirt. Uh, it was one of my first orders, and it's kind of cute. It's very soft, very comfortable, um, but I would definitely still recommend these pants. Just, you know, maybe be really careful with the sizing. I don't know what to say because one pair fit me great and the other pair is a little too tight, so I'm not really sure. But I did want you to see these shoes. Let me hold my feet up there so you can see them. They are so cute, and like I said, so comfortable. I could walk in these you know, all day and they're just really comfortable. Okay. Let's look at the next thing. And then I think this is my last, um, apparel. Oh, I think I actually do have one more. 
Um, this is a dress that I just thought was really cute. I love this color. Um, I'm really into these summer dresses that they have on too. I'm really loving just having some new dresses to wear that are just cute and fun. And I almost always get compliments on them. Okay, so this one is kind of a, a turquoisey blue. It's got a little bit of a different neckline, a higher neckline. Um, and a couple little ruffles on the bottom with, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got a little unfinished or finished edge, but a little, a little bit of a scallop there. Very cute. And the print is kind of just like little white flowers or I don't know if they're flowers. Yeah, I guess little white flowers on this blue background. I think this is really cute. Um, this one looks like it's going to be a little bit longer, more of closer to a maxi dress for me, which I do love maxi. I love both. I love some shorter dresses, but I really love maxi dresses as well. So I'm going to try these on, but I wanted to show you the other thing that I got with this that I'm going to try on with it. I have not tried buying bras from Timu before, but I saw these and these were, let me tell you what these were and what the, let me grab my glasses. I don't know what I did with my glasses. Um, here you go. I always have a spare pair of, pair of glasses around. These are not the most attractive, but they get the job done. These were 10, I want to say they were 10.79. But it came with four different colors. There's a black one and kind of a gray and then a, you know, kind of nude color and a pink. $10.79 for four. So $10.79 for four bras. You really can't go on, go wrong with that. So I am going to try, I'm going to try this, one of these bras on with this dress and I'll let you know. And then I wanted to let you know how much the dress was. I think that was not the right bag. Hold on, right back. All right. The dress was $9.97. So that maxi dress was $10, basically. So I'm going to go try that dress on, see how that looks. And then I'll let you know how the bra feels. And if it, I think it was an extra, extra large. So it's an XXL. Let's see how that, how it does. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Here is that maxi dress um let me know what you think in the comments do you like it i think i like it it's it's it feels like a tiny tiny bit um tight in the shoulders it is definitely a, a soft polyester material but it's definitely wearable i can definitely wear i will wear this for sure and i am working on being healthier i got up at 6 30 this morning i did a workout with my husband we've been doing this one of those crazy workouts where you work out for 25 minutes, but you feel like you're dying. So yeah, we did that this morning. I'm really working on amping up my exercise, getting back into shape, eating healthier. So I'm really kind of hoping that this might get a little looser over the coming months. Um, but it, either way, I would definitely wear it just like this. It's very comfortable. Um, I love the pattern. I love the, I, I really like it. This was like really cute with those little, um, those little wedges as well, or with a flat sandal. Um, my husband and I do sometimes go out and listen to live music, and this would just be a great dress to wear. I could definitely get up and dance in it, or you know, if I was just sitting, it'd be fine too and comfortable. But um, this, this is also a keeper. I think I'm just gonna leave this one on and finish, so I don't keep changing. But um, for ten dollars, I just, I really. I really like this dress. I really like that I'm being able to kind of refresh my wardrobe a little bit and, you know, not break the bank. Um, so let's see what else we have in here. Um, oh, I did get a little purse. I've actually ordered a couple of other purses in some different colors. So I might be having some more purse hauls coming. Um, I just love having little bags that I can just grab as I go to match different outfits or, or whatever. And I thought this one was very cute. I really thought it looked more white. I thought it was gonna be a little whiter, but it is kind of gray, but that's just a really nice, you know, neutral color that you can throw with a lot of different things. I do want a white purse to match those shoes though. I'm, I'm working on that. Um, so it has a strap. It does have a little strap and these are buckles. So it looks like you just, I'm gonna have to buckle the strap. 
on. So I'm not going to do that right now, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a hook like some of them do. It just has a, um, a buckle for you to buckle into it. Um, and it's pretty long strap. So make a nice, uh, crossbody bag. But I just thought this was really, really, really cute. And if you did want to, for whatever reason, you know, I add a clip to it, I could definitely maybe add a clip or get a different strap with a clip. You could definitely clip one on if you wanted to do that. But I liked that it had the little, the little detail, with the little, um, gold, I don't know what you want to call them, buttons, rivets there. Um, so anyway, this one was, I thought it'd be better about looking, $5.49. So $5.50 for a purse. And you know, it's just that great size that if, like I said, my husband and I go out and listen to live music, we just, you know, it's a great little purse. I can just throw my phone, you know, a couple little things uh, in it that I need and, and just be able to just sit it down and, and it'll, you know, it doesn't take up too much room. So this one's great. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Okay. The next thing I got is actually an accessory for my bigger purses. Cause I do have several like larger purses and this was a dollar 49. And you know, sometimes like my big purses are just where things go to die. Like they go in and they are never seen again. They're, they're a bottomless pit. So trying to rectify. I got this because it is a purse organizer and it actually, I thought this is again, read the descriptions and the sizes. I thought it was bigger. It has snaps so you can make it bigger or smaller, but this is actually kind of good because it'll fit in many different sizes of purses. But if you unsnap it and you can see inside, you can just sit it down in your purse and it's got some pockets, bigger pockets, smaller, smaller mesh pockets, bigger pockets. Um, on both sides, it has those pockets and then inside it's just kind of an open space to put, you know, some of your larger things like your cell phone or whatever. And then it also does have little handles so you can pull it easily out. And then if you wanted to shove some stuff in and then just make it smaller, you can do that and you can zip it up. I just thought that was kind of a handy thing to put in my purses where I, they just don't have a lot of, of storage and I just tend to have everything go in there and never come back out again. So I, <laughs> I don't use a wallet all that often, but I went to my dermatologist for my, you know, semi-annual skin check because I did have skin cancer up here or a couple of years ago. So she likes me to come in every couple of years. I don't know what my hair is doing right now. Um, she likes me to come in every couple of, every couple of, uh, every couple of years, every six months to get an all over skin check, just to make sure there's nothing else going on. And I, they wanted to, you know, take my insurance card and copy it. Um, and when I went to open my wallet to get my insurance card out, the snap just broke. So I need a new wallet. So the first one I got was this and I just, I want to let you know that this was a dollar 49. It came in a lot of different colors. It's very shiny, very like, obviously fake leather, but very, um, soft, smooth, fake leather. And it's just a, basically just a little change purse. But I also thought this might be something that I could just throw my cell phone in too, and just maybe my cell phone in a chapstick or whatever, and just kind of some cash maybe, and just throw it around my wrist and carry it easily when I'm going somewhere where I don't really want to carry a lot. And maybe I don't have a lot of pockets to put things in. So I did get this. Um, as like one option to replace my wallet, but it's not gonna have places for you know my insurance card and all that. So I also bought a second one. Let me see if I can find that one in here. That is not it. Here it is. Okay, so I bought a second one, also pink. I do love pink, I do. This one is a lighter pink and it's more of a, what you would call a traditional, you know, wallet. It has a little, fake leather tassel is, this is not as soft, it's more of a rough finish. Um, but I thought it was kind of cute. It's got a little, you know, little tassel, little decorations, but you open it up and it does have some places for credit cards or for my, in my case, the um, insurance cards. And then it also has, you know, a place for, for cash. Now, the only thing it doesn't have that I, Oh, whoops, there's another compartment there. The only thing it really doesn't have that I think I might would 
one is a place for change, but I do have a couple of little just change purses. So, um, you know, I don't really use change. Honestly, I don't use cash that much anymore. So, but this one was, I keep throwing the bags away before I look at the prices. This one was $1.49. So, I mean, for $1.50, I thought it was something to try. If I decide I hate it, $1.50. I don't, I can just donate it and someone else can use it. Um, next thing, I bought one of these. It was kind of slightly different design. This was also a dollar fifty dollar forty eight I like to round um for my kitchen it was a different design but it was the same thing but it is one of these that you you hang this up and let me get the bottom out here um so you hang it up and you put your plastic bags in it um and then they come out the bottom of the bottom and you can just this one's actually bigger seems a little bigger around than the other one was um I thought it was pretty with the kind of flower design but I am turning a spare bedroom into a walk-in closet and I thought that I would actually like to have one of these in there because I hate to drive in heels. So when I'm wearing wedges or heels at work, I always either grab a pair of tennis shoes or slip on tennies or a, or a pair of sandals and wear those into work and home from work. And then I bring my shoes in a, in a plastic bag basically. So I thought I would put hang this in there and then I would just have bags if I needed it. Or if I just need a little trash bag or whatever. So I did get one of these to go in my closet room. Next, I have been seeing people hauling these. This is to clean your microwave. It was $1.38, so less than $2, less than $1.50. But you take that, the, you take her, her, her wig off and you fill this with I think it's water and a little bit of vinegar. And then you put it in your microwave and you um, turn your microwave on. And I'll have to I'll have to Google how long you do it for, I don't remember. But you do it for a little while, not very long, and then it supposedly like loosens up whatever may be stuck and kind of cleans your microwave. So you just have to go in with like a a towel or I use the um, microfiber little washcloth. Just go in and um, you know, wipe everything down. I wanted to try if it's really that easy. I love things that make cleaning easier because I hate cleaning. I don't know what it is I do. I I think it's because I'm a perfectionist and I always want everything to be perfect and I make myself crazy. The next thing I have, this was a dollar seven and this is just a little, I believe it's a necklace. I did get a couple of little necklaces. It's a choker. So that is very short. Let's see. This is very, very, I'm going to, let's see. Let's see if this, with my 15 other necklaces here. This is actually one necklace, this gold one that I have on. Okay, I see. Let me take this one off. Um, it's a three-tier necklace, this other one, um, which I, I do like. I like the, you know, the layered look of it. Um, but, yeah, it's just a, all three of them together. Um, so this one, I just thought this was really cute. It has some greens in it, which is kind of colors that I don't really have. And, um, yeah, I, it could be a little shorter and be more of a choker, you know, cause it's got that little section. So you can make it a little shorter or a little longer, but it's kind of just shades of green. Um, I just love having different colors. I, I love my accessories. I really do. Um, I did get... Okay, here's a pair of earrings. These were only 48 cents. Um, and they are some little silver earrings. It, and they're just kind of like a, just a random little uh, motif there. Um, very simple, but really cute. Um, I do... I do like jewelry. This is another necklace that was 62 cents. Um, I, you know, I love animals. I love cats. I love dogs. So cute things with animals, it's, it's just going to get me every time. Why can't I figure out how to, oh, oh, it's way up high. That's why. So I'm just going to show you this. I don't think I'm going to try this one on, but it's like a little kitty cat sitting in a, on a moon, on the moon. 
Isn't it? I just thought this was so beautiful. And I will, I will definitely wear this so much, probably. This is probably going to end up being one of my, one of my go-tos. I like simple things and, you know, sometimes I like to match. Sometimes I just like to throw a necklace on that I don't have to worry. And I'm actually working on being less matchy because I have been accused of being very matchy-matchy. So I'm, I'm working on that. Um, this is another necklace. It's very similar to this, that green one I had on, um, but it's actually black and silver. If you can see, it's just the same thing, a little choker, but black and silver instead of the, um, the greens. Same length, um, you know, same adjustable clasp so you can put it on in many different um, sizes or if you have a bigger neck or a smaller neck, but yeah, I think that's going to be really cute too. Really like that. I've really, overall, I've been very happy with the jewelry. I have gotten some pieces that I thought even, you know, even for the low price, I, I thought they just weren't good enough quality that I would actually wear them. But it's been, I would say the majority of things that I've gotten, I actually really like and I will definitely wear. Um, okay. I got a couple of different badge holders for work because... I have one that I really love and I haven't broken it yet, but I wanted one on a chain and this comes with two little having it upright or sideways, I guess, depending on way, which way your badge goes. Um, but this one is a chain. Um, sometimes like the dress I was wearing today, there's not really anywhere and this dress too. I don't like clipping my badge up here. I just don't, I don't like to do that. Um, so this is just a little, it's a little tangled, I guess it was in that bag. And you know how they shove, I'm just amazed at how much stuff they can shove in one of those bags when they ship. Um, but it's just on a chain and then, you know, obviously you just put this through and clip it. Um, but it's just very similar and it does, it does stretch. Um, so if you need it. Oh, and I would, it, it actually has a clasp too, so, but you can, I would just put it over my head, but for days like when I'm wearing something like, um, like a dress like this and I don't really have anywhere to clip it, this just looks a little nicer than like a big lanyard if you're wearing a dress or something, so I just thought this was kind of nice to just, you know, maybe use for my badge some days when I just don't have anywhere to clip it, and then I got another clip one that I just... I couldn't resist. I have two more things left. Um, I couldn't resist this because I keep seeing this on t-shirts and all different kinds of things and it just cracks me up and honestly I feel like this some days. So it's just a, it clips just onto your your belt or whatever and you can do this but if you can see it. I love this cat and he just says it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. And there, there are days where I definitely feel like that. But I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. So I, I figured I would just maybe have this at work for those days. And I could just be like, if you see me wearing this, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm having a day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I thought that was really cute. And this is my last one, which I looked at this and I was like, Oh, let me tell you how much this bag and all of this stuff was. Both of the necklaces were $1.07, except for the little one was $0.68. Cents. Um, the badge holders, $2.48. And I'm not sure. Oh, $2.48 and $1.49. So the cat one was $2.48. And the, the one on the chain was uh, $1.50. So this was $1.26. But I bought this because I just think it's beautiful and interesting and fun. And then I was like, are you ever going to wear this? <laughs> and I don't know. I want to, though. And then I'm like, are you the girl that would wear this? And then I was like, I want to be the girl that'll wear this. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put this on and you're going to you're going to understand why I'm saying this, because this is definitely a little outside my normal. Um, but I think it's beautiful and I don't have long enough neck maybe for this. I'm going to try not to get my hair. I think my neck just might be too short for this. Um, uh, yeah, cause I feel like if I go like this, I'm going to like stab myself. Um, anyway, when I saw it in the picture, I thought it was so pretty and I don't know what I imagined I would wear this with. 
don't know. But <laughs> I feel like I look like, I feel like I don't have a long enough neck. Honestly, I feel like it looks like it's growing like out of my chin. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I, maybe I, I'm going to, it was a dollar 26. So I'm going to put it over there. I put it with my jewelry and I'm going to see if the mood strikes me to wear this. Maybe I will one day find an outfit and I'll be like, this needs that necklace and it'll be great. Um, maybe not. Maybe I'll use it for a Halloween costume <laughs> or something at some point, but I don't know. I thought it was just so pretty. I'm going to take it off now though, because it is really, it is really not meant for short necked people like me. Whoo. Yeah. I don't think I'm actually going to probably realistically, uh, I think it's, it was just kind of painful. So I don't know. I'm, I, I, let me show it to you not on me because I think it's much prettier when I'm not trying to wear it. It's very pretty. Um, but I think it's just, yeah, my neck is just not, <laughs> not the right size. So yeah, I think this one might actually, when I think about it, it's, it's kind of feel like a little painful. So I might end up taking that one back. But that was my haul for today. Overall, I'm really excited about what I got. I think I did did good. Um, I really, you know, I think this dress is definitely one of my one of my favorite things out of the haul. I love it. It's I, I just love the neckline. I don't think I have anything where it's got like a ruched neckline like this. And I've been wearing it all this time, moving around in it, and it is comfortable. It is definitely comfortable. It's that lightweight fabric. I love this. Um, yeah, I think I've got some good stuff. Oh, I was going to tell you the bra. I did put the bra on. Um, I put the pink one on. Let me... Okay, stepping back into frame. Let me show you this one so you can kind of see what it is. It's actually like a little bralette. It's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Um, I got, like I said, an extra, extra large. And as you can see, I am not small chested. Um... <laughs> I wish I was a little smaller. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's just a bralette. It's a bralette. Like I said, for me, size extra, extra large. Very comfortable. These straps are very soft and comfortable. It's very soft and comfortable. Stretchy. Definitely stretchy. And on the inside, it does have um, some padding here. But if you see, you could take it out if you wanted to. I think I would be a little afraid to take it out and, and be afraid of it not giving any actual coverage um, anymore. But I've been wearing this this whole time and it's very comfortable. I, I mean, I don't think it's going to give you necessarily, you know, great definition or, you know, it would need to come in a little bit more. Um, so maybe you do kind of get a little like uniboob going on but honestly I've kind of reached the point where I just I want to be comfortable I want to look nice but I also really want to be comfortable so I'm probably gonna be sporting the just it's all there um anyway I I think I'm gonna like these I do think I'll get wear out of them so anyway this ended up being a little longer than I intended because I am really chatty. <laughs> so anyway, I hope um, that maybe you got some information out of this that was good. Um, I did want to follow up. I did. I did do a team of video where I talked about returns and I wanted to say I got an order. I actually got three orders at once. They just, they, they came in three days in a row actually. So I kind of opened them all at the same time and I did actually record a video, but it was just such a mess. I'm, I, it, it was too much of a mess, but, um, I tried on the clothes and I ended up just not having luck and I returned quite a few things and, um, you know, I followed the instructions, printed out my label, put everything in a box, went to the post office before I put the label on. I was like, let me know if this is the right. And she's like, yep, you're fine. So, you know, had a box, fit everything in it, closed it up, took it to the post office. Simple, as simple as it can be. Um, so I, I do want to say that again, that returns are actually pretty simple. I've had a few more returns where they've just said, just keep it. Here's your money back. Just keep it. Um, so I think there must be some point where you get to where you're at a monetary value that is worth it for them for you to return it. Um, and if you're under that, 
they just say keep it and donate it, whatever. Um, the other thing I want to say is if you are ordering, if you're ordering and you're going to be ordering again, make sure you check for price adjustments. Um, I mean, you actually can with the price adjustment, have it refunded to the method that you paid by. Um, but you can also just have it automatically as credit. So if you were going to order something else, you know, before you put that order through, just check for price adjustments. I mean, I usually end up with three or four dollars with worth of price adjustments when I make the next order. So it's just basically you've already spent that money. Get some of it back if you can. So that's my tip. <laughs> check for price adjustments and returns are really easy. Anyway, I'm Kim. My channel is never too late. And it is because I named it that because it is never too late to be a crazy lady like me and start making 